Hey there, I'm JJ Yosh. I'm an adventure filmmaker, and this is Simon, also known as Backpacking Kitty. And welcome to our very first episode where we're gonna be talking to you all about the ins and outs of being a cat and being a cat influencer. If you guys don't know Simon, Simon is four years old. Uh, he's a cat influencer, and I am also an influencer. We got our start in this whole social media thing in the last couple years, and we've been kind of rolling with it. It's definitely an evolution. So if this is your first time on our channel, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button. We get questions all the time, and the biggest question is, how did I get Simon to become an adventure cat? And how did he get into hiking and backpacking and climbing and all the activities that he now does on a regular basis? Simon wasn't just born to be a adventure cat, although in some ways, he really was. He was uh, trained to be an adventure cat. Naturally, cats are curious, and I think that's what I really love about Simon, is that everything he explores and experiences, he sees it kind of for the first time. So in a lot of ways, I've been able to see the world in a whole new way. Now, when I got Simon, he was just a couple weeks old, and I actually didn't even want Simon at the time. I didn't want a cat, period. I didn't even know if I could have one because I traveled a lot. I wanted to make sure that if I got a pet that I would be able to give it a lot of care and attention that it needs. Because of my lifestyle, I didn't think that was gonna be possible. So at the time, this was around 2016, my landlord where I was living, he had a litter of rescue kittens that he had gotten. So luckily I did take Simon, but unfortunately Simon was not a really nice cat when I first got him. He was very timid, scared, uh, meowed constantly, wouldn't shut up, and he wouldn't even let me near him. So when we first moved in together, it was quite an experience. I actually named him Diablo because he was the devil. And I was gonna get rid of him the very first couple days that I got him. Uh, I just really didn't think that he was gonna change and, and become you know, the calm cat that we now know of Simon. And actually the second day that I got him, he ran out of the house and I was not able to get him from under the rock that he went to. So I ended up leaving him there under the rock the whole day. And we live in the mountains and there's a lot of predators like mountain lions, coyotes, foxes, eagles. And so for, for a little kitten being outside by himself, it's very dangerous. And uh, you know, luckily later that day, I was able to get him from under the rock, but there was like a big chance that he could have been uh, eaten by a predator. Don't you think that's true? So after a couple days, he mellowed out. He became very calm and extremely loving and affectionate. So when he first started going outside, it was under supervised hikes, basically. And so I would take him on my hikes and we started hiking together. And one of the very first hikes that Simon went on, he was very overly dramatic. He panted like a dog and he didn't really wanna walk on his own. So I put him on my back and he seemed to like that. He seemed to be calm being on my back when we were on a hike. And that is how he became known as Backpacking Kitty because he typically rides more on my back during hikes. Uh, typically we'll go out and I'll bring a leash, I'll bring his harness. Well, he wears a harness pretty much 24 seven. The main thing is taking him out every day. Repetition is the key when it comes to cats. You know, they're very habitual creatures. They're extremely resilient, um, but they definitely like the comfort of the habit and the routine. So that's one of the ways that we got him really comfortable with going outside, was doing it over and over again. And Simon naturally just loves the outdoors, you know, so I, I definitely don't want to deprive him of that. And I think it's so important that animals get outside when as much as they, much as they can, because like imagine, you know, imagine us being stuck indoors all day long, never having any like sunlight, we'd go crazy. So I think it's important that cats get to go outside too. The other question we get all the time is like, how did Simon become this like insta-famous cat? 
Now that was totally unplanned. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, I've been doing influencing and uh, entertainment for, you know, over the last 10 years. And I just started taking pictures with Simon. He just started going on my in my pictures. And, uh, you know, people loved it. So we started his own Instagram and uh, it just kind of blew up from there. Slowly, uh, gradually at, at first, but it, you know, it took on a life of its own. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please send them to us because we are gonna be having more and more future episodes here. I'm gonna put Simon down, he's, he's getting a little restless. Uh, we're gonna have so many different adventures that we're gonna be doing. So whatever questions you guys have, send them our way. If you guys wanna know like the right type of food to feed your cat, facts that you may be unaware of cats, like do cats cry, do cat, cats pant, how much should you feed your cat, how many hours should your cat uh, sleep a day? Is it normal for your cat to throw up? There's so many questions out there and we're gonna be trying to cover all of these topics on future episodes. So please send them our way. And if you have any questions for Simon personally, like what types of food he likes, what types of uh, adventures he likes to go on, send them our way as well. And any sort of miscellaneous questions, feel free to send them. You can put them in the comments below and we'll try to, to address all of them. If you guys want shout outs for us, remember, say in the comments, ooh, ooh. We know that you're watching if you say ooh. ooh. And uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram, instagram.com slash jjyosh and instagram.com slash backpacking kitty and also TikTok. And we will see you on future episodes. Ain't that right? Can you wave to them? And we'll also be doing some cat tricks too. So again, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks a lot. Simon, say goodbye. And we will see you again.